the value of HEC equals option A 12,400 electron volt amps per unit, option B 1240 electron volt nanometer, option C 1240 MeV Fermi, option D all the above. To get the solution for this problem 1, consider the value of Phelan's constant uh, H equal to 6.6260 into 10 power minus 34 joules second. The last of light C equal to 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. Then flux constant in velocity of light HC equal to 19.878 in 10 power minus 26 joule meter. One electron volt is equal to 1.6 in 10 power minus 19 joule. Therefore, the value of HC in terms of electron volt is obtained by dividing this factor by 1.6 in 10 power minus 19. If you do the operation, we can get the value of 12.42 into 10 power minus 7 electron volt meter. Now, take this value 12.42 into 10 power minus 7 electron volt meter. Multiply this by 10 power 3 and divide it by 10 power 3. This is equal to 12420. 10 power 3 means 12420. If this 10 power 3 goes to the numerator, this is taken as 10 power minus 3. Already 10 power minus 7 is present. So 10 power minus 10 meter electron volt. This is equal to 12420 Armstrong unit because 10 power minus 10 meter is 1 Armstrong unit electron volt. So, this is the value of HC. This is one answer. And uh, 10 power minus 10 is expressed in terms of 10 power minus 9. This is 1, 2, 4, 2 into 10 power minus 9 meter electron volt. This is equal to 1, 2, 4, 2 nanometer electron volt. This is another one answer. Then take this value. 12420 into 10 power minus 10 meter electron volt. This should be equal to 12420 into 10 power 6 electron volt divided by 10 power 6 into 10 power minus 10 meter. This is 12420 MeV. 10 power 6 is million million electron volt into 10 power minus 16 meter but one Fermi equal 10 power minus 15 meter so divide this by 10 this is modified as 1242 MeV Fermi one Fermi equal to 10 power minus 15 meter therefore divide this by 10 12,420 is converted into 1,242 if you divide it by 10. Then this 10 power minus 16 is written as 10 power minus 15 meter. Therefore, the answer is 1,242 MeV Fermi. Now, these three options are correct. The value of HEC equals 12,400 electron volt amps per unit, 1,240 electron volt nanometer, 1,240 MeV Fermi. So all the above is the correct option. Answer the problem two. The value of H cross C equals 1,973 electron volt amps per unit, 197.3 electron volt nanometer. Option C, 197.3 MeV Fermi. Option D, all the above. Now go to the solution to H cross equal dash pi a to pi. Phelan's constant divided by 2 into 3.14. The value is this much. Then the last half light is this much. H cross C is this much. 1 joule is equal to 1 point 10 power minus 19 electron volt. If you do the conversion, we can get this value. 
then this is 1977 10 power minus 10 meter electron volt that is 1977 Armstrong unit electron volt or 197.7 10 power minus 9 meter electron volt that means 197.7 nanometer electron volt or 197.7 MeV Fermi this is a conversion factor therefore for the problem 2 these three options are correct all the above is the correct answer now consider the problem 3 the mass of the neutron equals option A 1.6749271 in 10 power minus 27 kg option B 1.0086 6491597 atomic mass unit option C 939.565 MeV per C square option D all the above now go to the solution mass of the neutron is this much but one atomic mass unit is equal to 1.6605390 in 10 power minus 27 kg Therefore, the mass of the neutron in terms of atomic mass unit is 1.008664 AMU. But 1 AMU equal to 931 MeV per C square. Therefore, the mass of the neutron is 1.008664 into 931 MeV per C square that is equal to 939.565 MeV per C square. So the all the three are correct. The mass of the neutron equals option A is correct, option B is correct, option C is also correct. So the correct answer is all the above.